Thank you. Uh, they already have over 150,000 concurrent players, at least on Steam. And then they said that there's even that much over on the PlayStation. And um, it, it's just pure fun is, is what the game is. It's very simple. You're, you got your Helldiver guy. You arm him up with his armor, his weapons. He gets in the drop pod like a little ODST from Halo. And you drop down, you land on whatever moon you've selected, and you're either fighting the the bugs, you know, like Starship Troopers, or it's uh, the Automatons, which are basically like Terminator robots. And so there is a live service element to the game, but before people get scared about that, it's actually kind of a good thing. You have Earth in the middle of the map, and then you have the rest of the galaxy surrounding it, and the bugs are coming in from this side, and the robots are coming from this side. And they've said that they're going to add other races, too, throughout the galaxy. So there'll be other enemies to fight. But That's so dope. far, there's that. That's and they're dope. taking over each planet, each moon is, is being contested. So that's the live service element, is that if we don't keep fighting, the bugs will take over this planet and they'll get ah, closer okay. to Earth. Okay. Yeah. And so when we do take over a planet, then that means that one's ours. And we move on to the next, you know, contested part of the system. So there's also a um, how many planets sort of, are you dealing with? How many moons and stuff like what are you dealing with? Do there's you, do you know? clearly a lot, but I mean, there's only like maybe four that are open right now that are contested. So two on each side, I think. Um, and so there's also a procedurally generated maps. So when you do land on each location, it's a little bit different every time. You don't know what the battlefield's exactly going to look like where there's going to be bunkers or shelters or missile launch sites because you can launch missiles. You can arm artillery rifles uh, with nuclear missiles. You can put those in and call in extra airstrikes as, as a result there. Um, and it's got a lot of friendly fire, but that is a, a selling point is the hilarity of accidentally shooting your friends or dropping a massive bomb on the bugs. And it also wipes out one of your buddies. Um, communication is definitely something that needs to be made clear during stuff like that. Um, the weapons are powerful. There's a co-op element to even the weapons. Uh, if I get the rocket launcher, my buddy can pick up the backpack, which has the rockets and he can stand next to me and load them in for me, which is quicker than me having to stop and reload and put the rocket in. So there's lots of interesting co-op elements there. And depending on what you bring and what airstrikes you equip on your character. And then also to even call in the airstrikes or to reinforce your buddy if he dies, you have to call in a pod to drop. Uh, there's a, a directional input from the D-pad. You have to like put in a little button combination. And so it'll be like left, left, down, right, up, left. And then, <laughs> which I did not expect from right. a game. <laughs> Right, right. A game like that, but it introduces like some randomness and some chaos and like, hang on, man, I'm typing in the coordinates, you know, like it's coming in. So, I mean, it's just pure fun. It's a yeah, really so fun game. You just shoot bugs. Do you think it's do you think it's a hit because it's something that we've been missing or do you think it's why do you think it's a hit? Like based on like if you were to pull back, like why do you yeah. think it's it's a hit? Looking at macro, it's like. Really, the only other games that do stuff like this is like Left 4 Dead, Gears of War, Halo's firefight mode. We get these once in a blue moon. And and honestly, I feel like that type of mode has been like a dying genre. Everything has moved to battle royales or more strict multiplayer game. Co-op stuff is really part of live service models in games like Destiny or Division. But we don't really get this like really fun, replayable experience that's just made to be fun. It's very, very simple concept. It's not the most gorgeous game, although it is gorgeous. Um, it's got simple concepts, simple weapons, you know, several different enemies. But there's a lot of different weapons that you can utilize and unlock. And then, of course, you have the battle pass, which unlocks even more weapons as you play the game, more armor to customize your character. And then armor has perks. Uh, there's also some armor that you can purchase with real world money, um, but that's pretty common to have microtransactions, microtransactions like in games, of course, to keep the live service afloat. Um, but the battle pass, all of that is earned in game. So you you cannot cheat your way through that, even though it's a co-op game. 
You can you have to play, you have to unlock the medals by completing missions and objectives, and then you get to spend those medals however you choose. Pretty cool. No, I dig it. I dig it. So so if you were to rate it based on your impressions, what you played so far, what would you give it? Like a letter or a number? What would you give it? Yeah, I would I would say I highly recommend it. So I mean it's it's gotta be up in that eight to ten range. Yeah. That's dope. That's that's surprising. That's surprising. Uh, but it's not surprising <laughs> for PlayStation, right? Because they've been, you know, planning this for quite some time. But, you know, the reception of, of the title, I think, is is really dope. All right. So so good stuff for mm-hmm. Helldivers 2. I definitely check it out if you haven't done so already. 